Hello. Every third Thursday of the month, I want to do a, a top five video. Uh, this, and since this is May, and very creatively uh, decided that May is going to be Star Wars month, I decided to do a top five reasons I don't like Star Wars. Star Wars is pretty, pretty well liked, I would say. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I think it's, uh, it's, they're not bad films. I just want to say it before I started. I don't completely dislike this, the Star Wars uh, saga. I just uh, wanted to point out some uh, some serious kind of flaws in the in the whole movie series. And again, this isn't just these things aren't just focused on the prequels. I'm pretty sure the, those have uh, you don't have to look very hard to find uh, the reasons not to like the Star Wars prequels, but the. Uh, the flaws that I'm going to point out today aren't just to deal with the prequels. This is overall Star Wars stuff. That's just the flaws of Star Wars. Number five, uh, the reason I don't like Star Wars is he is the chosen one, the great hero of destiny. I thought we weren't just talking about the prequels. Well... Yeah, that that is a major plot point of the sequels is finding an Anakin Skywalker and ooh, there's an ancient prophecy just devoted to this little kid that he's going to be the chosen one. But also, when you look at the original trilogy, it's Luke Skywalker is uh, this kid that grows up on a fa uh, moisture farm, and then he's suddenly the great hero of destiny. Why are we following this kid? Because he's the hero. Uh, the the Rebel Alliance has been around for 20-something years, and there's people that have been working against the Empire f since it started. But why are we suddenly winning now? Because the hero's here. <laughs> it's like, some jackass, some jackass shows up and saves the day, and he's just here because he's supposed to be the hero. There's just one day Destiny handed him... The the slot, and now he's the hero. Number four, the reason I don't like Star Wars is it all focuses around one family. Like, in the original trilogy, it's the Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker meets his dad. Luke Skywalker meets his his sister. In the prequel tri trilogy, it's Luke Skywalker's dad. Then it's the... Uh, Adventures of Luke Skywalker's dad, and and then the the sequel trilogy, I guess it should be called. It's focusing on Luke's nephew and a girl that shows up. And it's, I just watched The Force Awakens so far. I, it's this is recorded before the other two of that trilogy comes out. And I'm well, I'm betting ten to one odds that that's Luke Skywalker's daughter is the girl that shows up for no reason. Um, it's supposedly a whole galaxy of story, a whole galaxy of adventure and drama. And um, I haven't read the books of Star Wars, and I've only kind of started playing the Knights of the Republic. But everything I've seen of the books has to deal with Luke Skywalker, his sister. And his nephews, niece and nephew, and his his brother and Luke Skywalker's brother-in-law. Everything in this galaxy revolves around one family. Where's can can we break away from this one family and see what else is out there in the in this galaxy? Not so far. Number three reason I really kind of don't like Star Wars is that the uh, the bad guys are just the bad guys. The good guys are just the good guys. What makes the bad guys bad? We're told they're, they're bad. What makes the good guys good? They're told, that they, we tell them, they tell us that they're the good guys. What do they do to be bad? Well, the bad guys did blow up a planet, to be fair. But what are the good guys doing? They're blowing up the stuff that's blowing up the planets. What's, why... <laughs> You see what I'm trying... I don't know if I'm being very clear or not. But the bad guys are just the bad guys. The good guys are just the good guys. That's all they're there to do. The evil empire of the Galactic Empire... They're just the bad guys. They're... <laughs> uh, and the Rebel Alliance, they're just the good guys. 
Um, there's not sure there's Han Solo who's kind of just sitting there trying to be the bad boy but and he's still a good guy but when you come down to it there's not a whole lot of um, in between yeah there's the uh, struggle of Luke Skywalker not trying to trying not to turn to the dark side but when you get down to it it's you know he's gonna turn he's not gonna turn to the dark side because he's the good guy the number two reason I don't like Star Wars is the Force does everything. Yeah, there's also Destiny, and uh, I, I, I call it luck. Sure, there's Obi-Wan says, hey, there's no such thing as luck. And what I call luck is just a fortunate set of events happening. And um, a lot of people, when I say, ah, oh, that's just luck, people say, oh, there's no such thing as luck. Well, you, and you can't influence luck. It's just, why did Luke get to the droids to go to the Rebel Alliance to fight the uh, Rebel, fight with the Rebels? Well, it just kind of happened. How, how did everything happen just because, well, it happens. The Force did it. The Force directed everything. Well, that really kind of makes it so the good guys don't really do anything. Yeah, Luke fired that shot that's only he can shoot because he has the force. I'm not talking very well. But, uh, yeah, that's... All the protagonists are just waiting for th things to happen. They're not really doing anything because, well, they're just going to happen because that's what Destiny is going to do. Um, yeah, because, you know, when Luke's, Luke shoots, he doesn't really um, have to try because the force is going to do it. When the droids come to his house... It's, well, the Force is aligning everything to go. Uh, how did, uh, how is the, uh, Galactic Empire haven't crushed the, the, um, Rebel Alliance? Well, it's the Force. It's directing the bad guys and directing the good guys. There's nothing really that the good guys have to do because, well, the Force is going to do it. And the number one reason I don't like Star Wars is the big... The massive thing that I really, really don't like about Star Wars, and everybody says, hey, that's a really good thing, that this is the, the modern myth. I really don't like how it just rips off the hero's journey. When uh, Joseph Campbell, when it was revealed that Joseph Campbell kind of does, uh, when it, I think George Lucas kind of followed uh, what uh, Joseph Campbell was saying about the hero's journey. like, But... It really looks like George Lucas made an outline by this hero's journey, and he just kind of did plot point by plot point. Okay, this happens. Okay, so now that happens and this happens. It's like, I don't know if that's... Yeah, I don't know if that's if someone revealed that and now it looks cheap, but now that it just... Now that I see that, okay, it's... The hero gets a call to action, then the hero refuses that call. Then he goes anyway. It's like, it's, he didn't really mess with that that structure. He just didn't, hey, this happens, then this happens, now that has to happen, then this happens. Well, okay, that's kind of cool that you can see how this, this uh, thing plays out. But if you kind of look at it, that's all that really happens. It It's just... Of course, this is going to happen because then this happened, and I think I didn't explain that very well. But yeah, that's the top five reasons I don't like Star Wars. It just the that big one. It just kind of makes it all feel cheap because they're not really forcing themselves into the situation. It just that's how the situation works, and now that now they're going to go with it. But yeah, that's uh, the top five reasons I don't like Star Wars. Um, every third Thursday of the month, I do a top five list. And uh, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, comments, questions, suggestions for top five lists are really appreciated. And have a good day.